Hey guys, I am Katie or KV Does Art and uh, welcome back to another 3D modeling tutorial. So um, this week I'm gonna try to model a locker um, like you would see in like a jammer or a school. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I haven't done it before, but strap in. So first thing I think we're going to need is a cube obviously for the entirety of the locker. I'm gonna go ahead and make it probably like four by maybe like ten and then by like four again. That way it's a bit square. And then I'm gonna move Y to two to bring it up to the origin. Um, then I'm gonna bring Y to five to bring it up to the uh, ground. So it's like that. And then I think what I'd like to do is give it some even divisions. So let's just do four by 10 by four. And then next what we'll do is go ahead and select these spaces. And then extrude them and offset them in maybe 0.25. And then go ahead, extrude again and just push them into the mesh. You wanna still be able to see them, so don't push them so far that they become black, um, but that should be good. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just bring out some of these faces to create kind of like a little shell. So I'll just bring, I'll just extrude those guys and then bring them out a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and extrude those guys and then I'm gonna offset them in and then extrude again and push them out this way. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select those side faces and just scale them. I'm gonna select this side face and just drag it into that piece and then select that side and drag it into that piece as well. Um, we'll go back and smooth this mesh. That way we don't have to bevel it so much. Just cause now you can see it's kinda kinda like just because now it's going to kind of like flatten out in a weird way if we use subdivision surfaces. So I'm thinking what I want to do next is go ahead and select these two faces. Let's offset those guys in. Maybe 0.7. And then I'm gonna actually scale them in like that. trying to get it to look a bit more like a square. And then let's go ahead and do edit mesh and circularize this polygon. And then I'm going to adjust my twist since my twist always seems to be a little bit off. Let's see, maybe 40 is good. Yeah, there we go. And then let's extrude that guy again. Let's extrude that guy again and offset in. To a pretty small fraction. And then just go in and delete that edge in the middle. And then select that face and extrude. And then just pull it down here. And then next thing I'm gonna do is extrude it again And I'm actually going to move it down, rotate it. Eventually, I want this to come to a kind of hook. If you guys can kind of see what I'm trying to make. So 
So basically you'll just keep extruding and rotating until you've got a sort of hook going on. There we go. Kind of a cute little cartoon hook for a backpack. <laughs> All right, sweet. So now that we've got a little hook there, um, we can go ahead and hold on. I'm going to select this edge and just rotate it a little bit out so it's not as weird looking. Okay, now why don't we go ahead and um, build this door? So we need another cube. So just make another cube. And then if you remember, we made our, um, our width four and then we did 10 and then we did four for a depth. I'm gonna put it on the ground, putting Y25. So we don't need our depth to be that big. We probably need our depth to be more like point five. Yeah, let's use that. All right, so we'll make our depth point five. Go ahead and um, do the subdivisions all the same. You can just make the depth to have one, so it's just normal. And then I think what I want to do is actually make a couple more um, width divisions and then couple more yeah let's do 10 width divisions and 15 height so go ahead and drag this door out here and then go into face mode select this top select this second row to the top excluding the one on the very outside and then select the exact same on the back now extrude offset them in to maybe like point to five and then go ahead and press W and then move it like that so it's kind of pointing down and then you can delete it basically all we're doing is just making little vents so go ahead and select this next row select the same ones on the other side and then it, you can extrude it Go ahead and offset it to 0.5, click W, move it over, then down, then delete them. And then let's do the same for this row right below it. Extrude, offset in, 0.25, then click W, move it over and down. And then you can delete it. Um, you can try and make those as even as possible. Mine aren't super even. Okay, sweet. So I think I'm just going to do the same thing on the bottom. So let's just go from the third row up. Here we go. Extrude. Offset in. 0.25. Click W. Out. Down. And delete. Same thing. Out and down. And delete. And last one will be this bottom row. Remember that you don't have to do it by my um, increment of 0.25. Just make sure it's even so that way you have a nice, you know, even model. And then move over and down. And delete. All right, sweet. So those concludes our vents. And then uh, next thing I want to just do is make a little handle. So let's select these four faces here. Let's extrude them. And then I want you to offset those. Want you to go ahead, hold control, and then offset it in pretty small. And then click W. And let's extrude. Click W and bring it 
let's extrude. Go ahead and extrude. And go ahead and offset it into point, maybe point three. And then extrude again. And let's bring that thickness out to like point six or point five-ish. Probably point five. So we'll end up beveling that so that it looks a little bit more like a handle. But um, first thing I think that I just want to do is let's go ahead and smooth this door. Go into object mode, go to mesh and smooth. All right, there we go. That looks better. All right, sweet. So now that we've got a little bit more of our door. What I want to do is cut through this. So grab a cylinder and then bring it on over here. Go ahead and rotate it 90 degrees on the Z axis so it's facing us. And then click R and you're going to scale it down until it fits a circle through here. Basically that's where the lock would go if you were going to lock this guy. And then you want it to stick fully out. There we go. And then I'm just going to make mine a little bit bigger so that it fully cuts through the mesh. Select the locker, then select the cylinder, and then do mesh, booleans, difference. So that should cut a hole right through your mesh. Looks pretty good. So now we've got a little circle in that door so that, um, you know, we can, we can use that. What I'd like to do next is let's smooth this mesh in the back. You can give it two divisions if you want to. I think I'm just going to give it one, just like the other one. And then let's go ahead and just put the door onto the locker so that it fits a bit. I think that the door is a little too big for the locker. So you can either just scale down the door or you can scale up the locker. Either one. One last thing I want to do is maybe just add um, some easy little like hinges. Um, so let's just go ahead first. Let's combine these meshes. So select both of them and then do mesh combine so that they're one. And then let's go into face mode. Let's select these faces right here. Go ahead and extrude. And up their thickness. There we go. And then let's grab two down here as well and extrude and up their thickness as well. To like 0 0.05, nothing huge. That we've got like cute little hinges on the side. All right, so um, that's basically it for the locker. Um, if you wanted to, I think in a different tutorial, I'm going to end up making um, a lock so that I can go on the locker. So um, stay tuned for that. And um, I'll see you guys next time for our next 3D modeling tutorial. Bye guys.